Uh, thank you, Your Honor. We haven't received any notification uh, of mm. that. We haven't received any well, notice. Last, last evidence that uh, he he supply uh, reply to the defense by in May, 11 May, right? That's correct. This is last communication. That's right. Okay, so let's let's uh, give him some time. Of course, um, I am available here. Just I will uh, switch off my camera unless maybe maybe ten minutes more, uh, Said. Yeah, sure. No worries. If he didn't show up, then we'll proceed in uh, okay. the regular way. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll mute now as well, Mr. Said. All right. My name is Abdullah Mitwali. Uh, I'm a lawyer here at Oz Legal Group. Okay, and you will be representing the claimant? Uh, yes. Are you registered in the DFC courts as a part two? Uh, no. Um, this is why, uh, so we've run into some difficulties uh, appointing a registered attorney as a part two. Um, and uh, that's why we are requesting for the hearing to be adjourned by 15 days, 15 working days. And that's up to the judge to decide, but for you to appear and to have the right of audience. Um, let me just check with the assistance registrar if you can uh, log in and uh, advise you on that. Sure. Thank you. Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't get catch your name the first time. Um, Abdullah. Yes, Mr. Abdullah, uh, do you mind sharing with us if you have any kind of authorization letter from the claimant? Um, yes, we do have a power of attorney. Um, yes, could you please submit it to the uh, court's email for the judge's record and we shall start um, as per the judge's request. Uh, okay, sure. Um, Mr. Muhammad, um, just, just I want to know, since when the claimant stopped participating? Uh, after the, la the case management conference, we haven't received any communications at all from the claimant. Yeah, uh, you mean after May, after he replied? Uh, uh, let me get the exact date for you, the date at which the case management order of His Excellency Justice Nasser al Nasser, which was dated 15th of March. Uh, hmm. Actually, that's not that's not correct. No, it was after the last uh, their submission of their admitted uh, their amended uh, particulars of claim. My apologies. Yeah, then then in May 11, they submit a reply to the defense. That's right. Yes. Then after that, they didn't follow up. No, with you in terms no, of your honor. Yeah. Um, and that law firm was Jaburi or something like this. I believe it's the same law firm that's acting today, AWS. Ah, is it the same law firm? No, the previous law firm, I think Al Jaburi, something Jaburi. I didn't get this as like a UAE firm or overseas. Because uh, when I the, when I go, when I go through the reply for defense reply and uh, I reply to the defense, sorry, uh, I notice the law firm at the end, Al Jaburi. I confirm that the uh, Al Jaburi is the one uh, on record on the series. Oh. Okay, and Al Jaburi, this is uh, a, a, as well a, a law firm registered before us. Yes, it's registered in the DIFC, but um, I believe the lawyer is not from there. You mean the lawyer who attending today? Or, or, yes. Or, yeah, maybe the lawyer who attending today had, is a different law firm. That's my understanding. 
Yeah, but he's not registered at all. That's yeah. Uh, yes, hello. I, uh, just to clarify this matter, um, uh, OS Legal Consultancy and uh, Suhad Al Jaburi are uh, the same entity. Uh, we of they, they're technically two separate entities, but we operate as the same entity. So Had Al Jaburi is the locally registered law firm, and OS Legal Consultancy is the consultancy company. Well, 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 so now are you working for the law firm in record or this is a separate entity? So, so, so Had Al Jaburi and OS Legal Consultancy are the same entity. Fahad Al Jaburi. You said mm. Fahad, right? So, so Had, so Had. So, so Had Al Jaburi, he's on record or on record? Yes. So Had Al Jaburi? Yes. And yourself from? Same law firm or different? Yes, yeah, same law firm. No, no. What what are you saying before? What what you saying? There is a separate. I didn't I didn't get it. So the the so they are two separate companies. So Had Al Jaburi, that's a locally registered law firm, um, and Os Legal Consultancy is um, a legal consultancy firm, um, and essentially uh, Os Legal Consultancy uses so had license to represent. Uh, uh, clients before the court, but we operate as one entity. Now, the power of attorney, did you send it to the court registry? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sending it now. One moment, please. Uh, Your Honor, just yeah. uh, as far as the defendant is uh, concerned, uh, AWS Consultancy is the party that we've been dealing with. Uh, they are hey. the they are the law firm that have been. Uh, you know, submitting applications. They're the law firm. Ed, that so, so when you said a, a, AWS stands for what? I think it's AWS. Uh, uh, I'm just pronouncing OS. it AWS. AWS. I'm just looking at how the email address is spelt out. So I I, I don't know if AWS is a word, but uh, it's AWS. Uh, that's what I'm calling it for the purposes of this. Uh, okay. Yeah. In any case, in any case, um. We are wondering why the claimant is not participating since May. Uh, did, did, didn't fill the, um, the, the progress monitoring information sheet. There's some certain document the defendant is, is required from your side, uh, as I see from the monitoring um, information sheet. So what, what's going on? How the claimant um, can so proceed with this case without being an active um, player? So uh, as I stated, we've run into some difficulties um, finding a part two um, registered attorney in the DIFC to represent uh, officially, which is the reason for the delays. Well, this is your problem, but not the claimant problem. You are presenting Correct. the claimant, but the claimant is relying on you. Now, you as a law firm, you don't have a registered part two, but Regardless, the finding a registered uh, lawyer, there is another. Th uh, there is a management uh, matter he is involved. You know, to get involved in the case, to submit the required document, has nothing to do with with the registered uh, lawyer. Mr. Muhammad, just clarifying this, I, I don't think it's an issue. Uh, no, that is because the firm is registered as part one. They have the authority to file documents and otherwise. Yes, that is my with. understanding. Yeah. So you are registered part one. Uh, so Mr. Fahad, right? This is your name, Fahad? Uh, no. Sorry. Abdullah. Abdullah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I read here Lamia Fah Fahdi. I don't know what this has come from. Is it maybe the computer name? Or uh, this is just, yeah, this is uh, a member of our operations team. Yeah. So. And now you're asking for 15 days. I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't get this. Sorry, I, I, we need to help you. You are the claimant. You're supposed to drift this case, but it seems to me you are slowing down the, the progress of this case. So I cannot, I don't know how we can help you with this. Um, I don't know. I how. understand. Yeah. Yeah, I do understand. Um, but currently, uh, as I mentioned, we've run into some administrative issues. Um, so that's yeah, why then, we're just then, requesting then, then, more time. Then if you have you have a problem with 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 with, go, with, with managing this case, then you just uh, you know withdraw the claim or, or, or we strike out your claim. 
because we cannot continue like uh, that. We have no we have no intention to withdraw the claim. We just would like uh, to have some more time in order to uh, manage the situation um, and handle it. Any comment, Mr. Mohammed? Uh, we're going to reserve, uh, you know, any of the rights that we have in terms of making an application for strikeout or for uh, a request for the court that this claim be withdrawn. Now, I believe so far to date, the defendant has been relatively cooperative. I believe that this is the first claim uh, that the law firm is filing or arguing before the DIFC courts. And in the interest of the overriding objective, we do want to uh, help to, to the extent that it is possible. Um, I do think that uh, there should be some sanction of some kind, uh, perhaps by way of a wasted cost order or an adverse cost order uh, in, with regards to this, this hearing today. Um, but I think really more than anything, the claimant does need to, for lack of a better term, get on with things. Um, you know, as defendant, we cannot drive, as you rightly pointed out, Your Honor, we cannot drive this claim. Um, yeah. We, we're doing what we can in terms of, uh, in terms of what's happened yeah. to date. And I do just want to flag up one, one thing, which is that counsel for the claimant is saying that they are requesting an adjournment of 15 days because they need to find a part two practitioner, whereas their email talks about new evidence that has come into come to light. So I think the claimant even doesn't really understand or know what is happening with regards to this claim. Yeah. Um, just to clarify that, uh, Your Honor, um, we did not state that there was any new evidence found. We just stated that we received some new information from our claimant. No, 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 no. That's understand. But but look, we have a trial date fixed on the 28, 29. I think I'm going to vacate that date. We cannot have that date uh, fixed right now. While until today, we don't have any progress uh, from your side as a claimant. So. Uh, for me, I will make an order or direction to vacate that date. We're not gonna fix. We're gonna. We're not gonna have a trial on on October on November 28, 29. It seems to me, uh, because we fail today to have any progress, uh, and now you come today for for asking for uh, a jail 15 days for another pre-trial. For me, it's really a little bit is is unrealistic. Uh, Mohammed, any comments in terms of vacating the trial date? Uh, we and see have how it goes. No, mm. We have no objection to vacating the trial date, though we do want to make it very clear, expressly state that we're reserving our right to make yeah. an application for strikeout. Yeah, I understand. So I think this is the end of it, uh, Mr. Abdullah. See what you want to do. You need to file an application for any adjournment or any uh, extra permission for extra uh, your time. Your Honor, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry to interrupt. Your Honor, uh, I, I I apologize. I've just um, actually uh, I would like to retract my previous statement. We would like to make a formal application for strikeout. Yeah, yeah, that that should be an, a written application. So yes, both party yes, liberty have liberty to file whatever they like. But for now, it seems to me we're going to vacate the tri trial date and we'll take it from there. It seems to me for now the case is not ready. The claimant has not been uh, cooperative and uh, um, not drive this his case, his own case. Um, so um, for instance, today we're supposed to argue about the trial, uh, you know, uh, timetable, the, if there's any witnesses, nothing from nothing of those is, is, is ready to be to be discussed. Um, yeah, no, the, the documents are ready. Um, we have had our team review everything, but we do still need to appoint uh, a part two authorized attorney to attend. No, no, you because see, you, you're coming from different practice. We this is this is this is going to be for the trial to submit uh, yes. information and document for the pre trial review. You don't need to have a uh, 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 that type of, of, of registration. Um, so I, I think you need to you need to consult with a senior legal senior counsel within your law firm or with a, a law firm who has a, a good experience with the DIFC court before but you make any application or any second step. And the other side will have the right to file any application they would like to. 
and we'll take it from there. But for now, you can take away from me that the trial date is vacated. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Your okay. Honor. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry for wasting anybody's time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you.